am PGA Golf Professional Tony Johnston here at Staining Watch Golf Course. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to get out of bunkers. Now, before we make any improvements to the technique of our bunker shot, I just want to go over the basic setup. So first of all, it's important to remember not to ground the golf club. We don't want to incur any penalty shots. Shuffle the feet slightly into the sand, which will give us a good grounding, and nice and relaxed over the golf ball. No tension in the hands, no tension in the body. I'm looking for a spot around about an inch to two inches just before the golf ball to make contact with the sand. Now, what I'm going to try and do, I'm just going to show you to the side, is when I make contact with the sand, I'm going to push through rather than down. So many golfers make the mistake of swinging down and taking too much sand. The amount of sand I'm going to take in the bunker shot, the inside bunker shot, is about a full there. Okay? A lot of golfers on the golf courses complain about not having enough sand in bunkers. You don't need too much sand if you're playing correctly. So I'm picking my spot just before about an inch or two inches. Play my shot and make sure the club goes through the sand and it's towards the target. The other thing that does is it helps my body get forward to get through. Because again, a lot of the, well, one of the biggest faults I see in a bunker is players hitting down into the sand and finishing here, the weight's still on this back foot, and the ball just rolling back into the sort of the dip of the, the, the lip of the bunker. So try and make sure you set yourself up, get yourself ready, pick the spot, make sure the club goes through. So next time you're in a greenside bunker, don't be too concerned about taking too much sand. Make sure you take sand just before the golf ball, but make sure the golf club goes through the sand in the direction of the target. That way that will help the body complete the swing and get the ball onto the green. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you next time.